Welcome back to another playoff edition of your Thunder Bay North Stars. This is the first time we've made the playoffs since our second season. I believe this is our fifth or sixth now. So it has not been a great run for Thunder Bay, but we are getting better. I'm going to go look at the teams here because I am blown away by this. And this is where I wanted to start off. We have a 90 offense overall, an 85 defense, and an 89 goaltending. Why? Why are we losing in defense? Our defense is better than theirs. Our goaltending, obviously. And you know what? They have three or four players that are less than an 80 overall, and we don't. So let's just, we'll, we're going to take a look at their lines first, and then we're going to jump into a couple simulations here. But it doesn't make sense. So yeah, they have a 90 overall. We have a 92. They have an 88, 88, 87. And then it drops. 81, 80, 78, 73, 78, 78, 80, 80. Not good. For defense, it's 86, 86, 81, 81, 78, 77. Again, not good. Now, this also means we're going to lose in the first round. Just preparing you now. But just look at our team. And we have... 87, 92, 85, 86, 87, 81, 81, 83, 85, 81, 81, 80. So much better than anybody than than their team. Like it really is. I like, guess they have two 88s and an 87. So 87, 87, 86. I mean one less there. But then we they go drop. We have an 85 with two 85s and an 83. On defense, we have an 86, 84, 83, 82, 84, 81. So again. We, we're just better. I don't understand why they're better. Nonetheless, we're in the playoffs. We won the President's Trophy. It is now time for our second goal at a Stanley Cup. And when I say second goal, I mean this is the second time we made the playoffs. We've yet to win a Stanley Cup. Now, if you remember from the first time we played in the, in the playoffs, Josh Anderson was our savior. We somehow won the first round before losing to Chicago in, two, in, um, in the second. We're not going to let that happen again. We are going to take care of business here one game at a time, hopefully. And and you know what? We'll see We'll see what happens. But I, I expect us to, to be intervening in a Stanley Cup playoff game here in the finals. So we'll see what happens. But period number one is 0-0. Zero, zero. Shots are 13-12. It's a high shot period. Okay, period number two. We take the lead. Andre Burakovsky scores on Tyler Pe or Tanner Pearsons. All right, we'll slow sim. And Barkov scores again. 19 seconds in the th in the frame before Phillips comes in and gets one on Vasilevsky. Our power play, our goal, Liam Fui. Fantastic. Scoring on his, I want to say former London Knights teammate, but I don't know if he ever would have, if, if they ever would have crossed paths, because Parsons may have been gone before Foodie got there, but they both London Knights alumni, we'll say. And we took care of game number one, three one, out shooting thirty five to twenty five, not too shabby at all. We'll just take a look at the three stars here. I'm guessing Vasilevsky, yep, yeah, right in there. Ald had two assists, so three big hits too. What you love to see. Is there anything we need to be concerned about? Kairu had two points too. Too bad he didn't get a star. Anderson, Foodie, Costin, Lowry. So Lowry didn't get anything. Sorry, Lowry's a minus one. Fabro's a minus one. So again, Raymond, he's a plus one, but he's he's not doing much on the scoreboard. But again, he's a plus one. He played twenty two minutes, which which is all right. Josh Anderson was a minus one. I mean, not what we're used to seeing from him in the in the playoffs, but it is what it is. I still feel really good. I, I was never really worried about that that series or that game, right? Like sometimes you're like, ah, oh, I'm not too sure. But that one that one felt pretty comfortable. So let's see how game number two goes. We'll pause it here. And period. Number one. Ooh. Alright. Fourth liner Kamenev, maybe third liner, and then Noah Hannafin on Vasilevsky. Not a great period. Two goals and eight shots. We're out shooting them 11 to 8. And period number two. We tie it up. Sasha Barkov gets a goal, followed 
I guess and impaired both from the same spot. So I guess we know where Peer, where Parsons' weakness is, and then Arthur Old gets one there. Now the one thing remember from our first series here, we took so many penalties, but we've had four power plays. Our power play is not doing well apparently, but we haven't taken a penalty yet. Now I know that's going to change, and they're gonna they're gonna come here and kick our butts. But all right, let's see what period number three has in store for us. We'll slow simmer here. We're killing them on shots, 29 to 14. First basket, Carlson, our fourth liner. And then right after, well, literally within 39 seconds, uh, Barkov gets his second of the night. So, again, like we're in complete control. Rush shooting him, 34 14. Jordan Kyrou gets another one. I'm guessing Parsons is out of the game by now. If not, they'll leave him in just because it's already in the only 10 minutes left in the third period. And really, what's the point? But, I mean, we're, we're manhandling them. We outshot them 41 to 20. Again, like we said when we looked at the teams, like this this series shouldn't be close. It really shouldn't be. Barkov had had three points, Ald had two, Raymond had two, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that completely. Oh, so Ald should be leading. No, Barkov and Ald both have four points in the series. We'll go to the next game. I mean, we're in Calgary where you never know what's going to happen in the Saddle Dome. If you haven't watched it already, um,. Bar down, TSN Bar Down just had their annual road trip this year to Edmonton and then to Calgary where they met up with the one and only Averman. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. That's what happens when you talk and don't pay attention. Okay, 2 1 win in their barn. I apologize. This is going to be a really short video. Huh, we might just do playoffs in one. Might just do playoffs in one. All right, sim the next game. I hit the wrong button there last time. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. But we're going to try to... I don't want to say get the brooms, but we're going to try to get the brooms out here. Uh, not what I wanted to do, but oh my goodness. I don't know who that, who that is for us, but he is just huge. Big boy. Big, big boy. All right, let's try this again. Simulate. Oh, Vegas dismantled whoever they were playing. Why is this not? Come on, guys. This is Timbits here. Just beginners. All right, period number one of game number four. And we are down again. Matt Niskin in on Vasilevsky. But once again, we're beating him in shots, 12 to 7. See what? It's high slot. You know, that's just a good goal. Period number two. Okay, well, look. We'll see. Sean Monahan makes it 2 0, and then again from that far point. But Josh Anderson, should I say Thunder Bay legend, coming to life in game number four. Things you love to see. Our power play, our power play is not clicking. Our power play is not clicking. But. Okay, Calgary is actually shooting us for once. Alright, we're catching up there. Looks like we have we've had complete possession. We've had like seven shots in a row before Calgary got one there. But last minute heroics? No, Calgary stays alive. Interesting. Alright. Going to game number five. I guess we just want to do it for our fans. We want to close it out for our fans. You know, that's okay. Let's do that. You know, we we're, we did pretty good in the regular season. We were on, we coasted a lot of it. So we can afford the, the opportunity. Play, play a fifth game. All right. Period. Number one. I would love to see a three-goal lead here. And it's 2 nothing For his basket, Carlson and Lowry. So, again, our fourth and third lines. Like, fourth. I don't know why our fourth line started the period. They scored 40, what is that, 41 seconds in. I don't know why they started the period there, but hey, this coach, again, I'm going to say it right now, if we don't win the cup, I'm firing the coach. I am firing the coach. Period number two. What a segue. If we don't win the cup, we're firing the coach, then we go period number two. Where Clem Costin finally gets on the board here in the playoffs. We have, it looks, you know, it's over, guys. This, this series is over. Um, we have complete control. There's number four, Liam Foodie. Aston Reese breaks a shutout, but I mean, we're, we're out shooting him. We're out 
I don't even care if they score on the power play here. They do. Matt Chuck. It's just, it's over. Noah Hannafin, okay. Bite your tongue, coach. Bite your tongue. Looks like we're back in control. Barkov here, fantastic. Looks like, let's see if we can get an empty netter to, for good measure on a power play. Nope, but hey, we win 5-3. I made a mistake of getting a little confident there when I shouldn't have. Who, oh, whose goal in there is scored from the corner? Oh my goodness, that's what broke the shutout, a goal from the goal line. Embarrassing. But I see Barkov back on the board. Um, Foodie had two points, Lowry had two points, Kachuk had two points, and obviously some hits. But hey, we're off to the second round. That's good. This video's only been 10 minutes. I think we're going to... I think we are going to... Keep going. Instead of doing a whole bunch of lame short videos for 10 minutes long, let's keep going. Looks like our farm team here is also on to the second round, and they are now playing the Laval Rockets. Who did we beat in the first round? I don't know. doesn't matter. We're on to the second. All right. And we are playing the St. Louis Blues. Who, if I remember correctly, is the team we beat in the first round? Was it four years ago now? All right. Let's see what uh, St. Louis is looking like here. View lines. Let's see if they're any better. St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis. They are running with Robbie Fabry, Ryan O'Reilly, Vladimir Tarasenko, who is a 93 overall still. Wow. Nick Ritchie, Lucas Walmark, and Marcus Johansson. Not a bad second line, honestly. I'm okay with that second line. Looks like these guys have an abundance of left wings, as where we don't have any. Uh, Remy Ali, Robert Thomas. Thomas should be up. I don't know why Thomas is playing behind... Walmart, but and Johan Larson with Christian Dvorak again to be playing where Larson is. Riley Sheehan and Matthias Frome. Who is their defense? It is Manson and Petriangelo, Dunn and Ekholm, Giordano, who fell off a cliff down to an 80 overall. I don't know why he hasn't retired. Usually he retires by now. And Thomas Hickey. So it's not a bad defense, not the best defense I've ever seen on paper, but not bad. And they still have Bennington and Net, who's overrated in real life and in this game, with a 76 overall minor league fringe starter. Wow. Okay. So if we if we chase Bennington, we'll just we should have double digit goals, right? Let's see what the computer thinks we're like on paper against this team. We will simulate the affiliate game. Um, Better in offense, worse in defense, better in goaltending. So, again, I don't understand why your defense is being shafted the way it's being shafted when other teams are not. But I'm not a developer, so I don't know. In the meantime, let's just go show them why we're, why we're the better team, why we can shut them down. We are going to have a fantastic first period here, and we're down to nothing. Tarasenko and Fabry, okay. We're getting outshot. We're getting outplayed. Maybe this is why their rated defense is better. Their defense is rated better, I should say. Period number two. All right, four nothing. Richie and Tarasenko. Let's see what happens. Period number three. I'm guessing they score again. All right, four nothing. Four one. Alex Alden the power play against Spinnington. Is it too little, too late? This guy thinks so, but I hope the players respond and prove me wrong. Now the power play. You know what? The key game is power plays, and they got short handed goal. Okay, I guess they keep getting his power plays. They're going to keep scoring shorthanded. It's not the type of effort you want to see from the boys. Wow. We outshot them. I mean, that's it won't take anything away. We outshot them. Also, what I said about Jordan Bennington, he was like, you, their PR guy said, you hear what their, guy, what their coach said about you? The fact that, or their general manager, whatever the heck I am, that he thinks you're overrated. He took offense to that. And Biddington just went out with 31 saves. Not what you want to see. But let's see if this period does any better. Period number one. Tied 0-0. Zero, zero. Period. We're out shooting them 12-7. They were shooting us last time, but they also had two-goal lead. So let's see if this period number 
2 does us any better. It does not. Tarasenko with his third goal of the series. All right, period number three. Let's go. This looks like it's going to be a short video because uh, we're going to lose in the second round. 5-on-3 power play and nothing. That is the most embarrassing thing I've ever had. They've also only had 10 shots since period number one, and they're winning one nothing. We have almost 40 shots. All right. We have 37. Oh, my goodness. Our fourth. First of all, let's just, let's just slow down here for a sec. Why is our fourth line on with 46 seconds left? I don't understand our coach. I do not understand our coach. But any way you look at it, we tied it up. Let's see let's see if we can win in overtime. And the game's over with Robert Thomas scoring on Vasilevsky in overtime from the corner on the goal line. Things you hate to see. So Bennington has made me look like an absolute moron. An absolute moron moron I made one comment about me not thinking he's any good oh I don't want to play I should play I'll probably lose anyway either our farm team swept or got swept they got swept okay awesome job guys we're about to do the same in the NHL I just I don't know at least we didn't lose to Calgary, who is absolutely terrible on paper. Period number one. We're up one nothing. Evan Bouchard, welcome to the team, kid. Period number two. We're scored two more. Josh Anderson, you'll love to see it. That's getting my that's getting my energy back. You know what I mean? Like, let's go. Lucas Raymond as well. Things you'll love to see. And the third period here. We are going to sim it. Let's go up 3-0, out shooting him, up 4-0, Alex Old on the power play. Let's go, baby. All right, 10 minutes left. Well, 12, 11, 10 minutes left. We're out shooting by 5. We're up by 4. Another power play. No power play goal this time, though. But it is just too little, too late for St. Louis. We get another one, and that is all she wrote. Big 5-0 win in their barn. Joel Edmondson scoring on his former team. Let's Go, baby. We're just going to turn around and, and hopefully we just, we're going to win four straight here. Barkov back up to a point per game, so he had a couple points that game. That's good. That, I'm not even going to worry about stats. I just want to get right back into this. I We just we need to go. That was a good first first game on the road. Period number one. We're down one nothing. Riley Sheehan. All right. Period number two. Can we tie it up? We cannot. We go down to nothing, but then once again, Quenville from our fourth line scores it late in the second period from right in front of their net. Let's see if we make it interesting in the third. We are getting outshot. We have a power play early. Power play. And we score in the power play. Al or sorry, Alex Ald. Arthur Ald. Let's go. Tarasenko scores. All right. Takes the wind out of my sail. Takes the wind out of my sail. They have a power play. We kill it. We have a power play. Come on. They kill it. Please don't go down 3-1. Put our fourth line out there if you need to get a goal. That didn't happen. Okay. We're down 3-1, guys. I believe in this team. I believe in the way we've constructed this team. Will we have to make some, some changes in the offseason if we don't win? Absolutely. Are we going to have to work on some player types? Most likely. But do I believe in this team? Yes. Do I believe if the team does not win the cup this year, is it the coach's fault? 100%. 100%. We need to, we need to have some coaching changes. We're also going to have some changes because we have a lot of guys ready to come up. Cole Perfetti wants to be in the NHL. He deserves to be in the NHL. So we might have to get rid of guys like Adam Lowry and Josh Anderson, which I said I would never do, to make room for these guys. But let's not worry about that. Let's go win a cup. Period. Number one. We're up 2-0. Fantastic. Game number 5 here. We're down 3-1. Our, back, our backs against the wall. Burakoski and Ald. Period number 2. Can we increase that lead? No. But hey, we don't lessen the lead either. So third period here. We are getting a shot. And we're now tied in shots because we have a power play and we've just dominated that power play. It looked to be extended one too. Back to the power play. St. Louis seems, seems very undisciplined. But we can't 
like our power play is fantastic and we can't seem to score on the power play right now. But we're back on the power play. There's two minutes left. We're up by two. We're out shooting them, and that's the game. Okay. Game number six. Here we come. We had two goals in the first. That's all we needed. That's a couple shutouts this series for Basileski. So we won 5 nothing, lost 3-2, 1-2-0. Two, two, I don't know what's going to happen this game. But that's okay. We have Vegas waiting for the winner of this series. Let's just let it be us. Let's not let it be St. Louis. St. Louis does not need this. We do. For our fans of, of Thunder Bay, for the GM, Coach Stoneface, we need this. For the players themselves, period. Number one. Zero, zero. Okay. We're out shooting them 13 to 10. What's period number two look like, you wonder? It's a 1 1 tie. Robbie Fabry takes the lead, and then Rasmus Anderson says, No way, Jose. We come back. They are out shooting us now, but that's okay. What happens in period number three? It stays in period number three, right? But we got we to come back, okay? Shots are getting close. We caught back up. They passed ahead. We have a power play. Let's go. One shot, two shots in the power play. They had a couple short handed shots, though. Oh, that makes me nervous. And Josh, freaking Levo, scores. And is that enough? Is that going to be enough to take us to game seven? Less than a minute? Yes, it is. Let's go. That fourth line is coming through for us. For Basket, Carlson's got a couple. Levo's got a couple. Quenville's got a couple. Like, let's go. Game seven. Our home building. Things you love to see. The President's Trophy winning Thunder Bay North Stars. They want to make this happen for the fans. They want to make this happen. We're going to simulate. If it's close in the third, maybe we'll, maybe we'll intervene. I don't know. But we're 30 seconds in. No shots still. Neither of us are really, unless we score right away, neither of us are getting shots. But period. Number one. Tie game. Okay, Lucas Raymond scored three seconds after that. I paused it. And then near the end of the period, Tarasenko scored. Okay. Period number two. All right, Tarasenko scored again. And then Barkov got one on the power play. Tarasenko's on the power play as well. Nick Ritchie got one. All right. Game seven, down one. Shots are close. We need somebody. I would love to see a Lucas Raymond goal here. Josh Anderson, you're my hero. Can you score? We killed off a big power play. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, we're getting down to crunch time. We're out shooting them. Tied on shots. We're out shooting them now. And we tie it. Barkov with less than a minute left. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's intervene. Let's watch overtime. Computer versus computer. We're going to watch overtime. Let's make something happen. I'm excited for this. I, I really am. I'm excited for something to happen here in overtime. I don't intervene a lot. This isn't really my type of of franchise moding, but I, I'm excited for what's going to happen here. I hope something good happens. All right. Here we go off face-off. Who do we have out there? Is it our fourth line? Probably our fourth line. But no, Barkov's out there. Fantastic. We lose a face-off to Ryan O'Reilly. Not a really big surprise because O'Reilly is a face-off god. Oh, Barkov read that. Is that a penalty? Yep. All right. Was that even Barkov? Who was that? Yeah, it was Barkov. All right. Mr. Selkie himself takes a dumb penalty against that. They don't have Bozak anymore, so I don't know who 42 is. But things you hate to see. Their power play has been clicking. Tarasenko on the top of the point there. He knows what's up. He's ready to send Thunder Bay home. And there's the shot. <gasps> Anderson almost puts it in his own net. Edmondson dumps. Okay, he gets it out, but just barely. Just barely. Let's go. I don't want to edit this video, so one of us needs to score early. Oh, big miss, big miss. Big dump. Big dump. Let's go. This is a good PK. This is a good PK. I'm happy with this. Number 20 is all over them. I got to figure out our player's numbers. Oh, big save. Let, oh, you left it. You got it, Lowry. Breakaway. Overtime. Shorthanded. You don't know what to do on a breakaway, Lowry. You don't know what to do on a breakaway. That was terrible. Oh, my goodness. That was your opportunity. You could have been a hero. Will you be my hero, baby? Like, who does not 
want to be Enrique Iglesias. Big save. Vasquezki just looks so calm in there. He's like, I got this, boys. He's like, you kill your penalty. It's going to be okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. Ryan O'Reilly coming up. Coming up. Looked offside to me. Can we coach a challenge that? Tereseko. Big tip in front. Big save. Johansson got the tip. And Vasilevsky said no. Oh, my goodness. Quenville. Oh, got tipped as he tried to do it. Oh. Oh, he got off bodies in front. Vasilevsky was way out of position. Quenville was like, boys. We had AHL success, which prepared us for this. Liam Foody. Oh, my goodness. That was a terrible shot and location. But you know what? We're shorthanded. We'll take it. Any offense right now while shorthanded, that's what you want to see. Oh, no. Almost got tipped. If I had got tipped, that was going in. Vasilevsky was way out of position there. Oh, man. Look at the cycle game. They're just going. They're passing. It's tic-tac-toe. Edmondson has it. Three seconds left on the power play. The power play is over. Let's go. Five on five. We killed. That was a huge kill. Huge kill. All right. Let's go. That looked offside. That still looks offside. Christian Dvorak, don't do this to me. Okay, Dante Fabro, let's go. Who is it up to? Clem Costin, Deke, Deke, turnover. Oh, you were at it alone. Lucas Raymond. Oh, come on, guys. We got to get a shot. We got to get a shot. Oh, don't let them shoot. Okay, good tip. Should have picked that up, though. Why do they still have it? Okay, good thing Vasquez. He's like 12 feet tall. Okay, let's go. Bold quest to Raymond. Raymond comes up. Oh, he has it. He passed it to his teammate who was just completely covered in Arthur Ald. Okay, got to get that back, Aldi. Got to get that back. Come on, stick lift him. Stick lift him. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? What are we doing? Fast glasses. Come on, boys. You're going to shoot from outside like that? You don't think I'm going to save that? You're ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Vladimir Tereshenko is five. But look, we have three guys in the top ten there, I think it was. Somebody tell me if I'm right or wrong. Just pause it, go back, say how it was right. All right. Big win. Big win by Barkov. Lucas Raymond going to the outside, going wide, protecting that puck. Good stop and start. Uh, he should have passed it off there. He should have dumped it to his uh, defenseman that was pinching in. Oh, why are you passing? Shoot the puck. They give you the space. Shoot the puck low for the rebound. Coaching 101. Barkov has it turned over. I mean, these are two fantastic players, and Barkov and O'Reilly there. Couldn't have asked for two better players battling. Okay, Barkov has it. That was a risky pass. All the way up to Burkowski. Burkowski goes. Shoots at Burkowski. Biddington makes a save. Burkowski is starting crap in front of the net. That's okay. Oh, man, let's go. Ryan O'Reilly, Josh Manson, Alex Petrangelo leading the teams in hits. Now, again, we had three guys up there. We had Anderson, we had Costa, and I was seeing one other one. I can't remember who. So we're hitting two. We are hitting two. We needed that face-off win. I mean, it's hard to win a face-off against Ryan O'Reilly. I know this. What a dumb dump in. What a dumb dump in. Edmondson, you're terrible, but that's okay. Let's go, Burakoski. Burakoski. Shoot at Burakoski. Oh, my God. You wait too long. What do you expect to happen? St. Louis is a physical team. This is West Western Conference hockey here. All right. Okay, Burkowski. I don't know who's with you, but you don't really care because you're doing it all on your own. Uh, force it. Force the whistle. My biggest piss-off in hockey is when a goalie gets it and you do not force the whistle. You have to go at him because what if he bobbles it? What if he fumbles it? What if you coming in scares him? Oh, my. Force the whistle. That's just that's bad hockey IQ right there. Bad hockey IQ. This is just turnover central. This is ugly. This is ugly. This is uglier than my first girlfriend. Shout out to Jen if you're listening. But come on. Shoot the puck. Okay, good. That's hey, that's good. That was a good read. Wow, that was actually really good. Should have should have had the screen there, but we didn't. This can't go into double overtime. I've already made this video way longer than it should be because of this, you know, intervention, but intervene okay Lowry should win the face of against Sheehan he does okay to Fabro to Bolquist to somebody oh we got the power we got the power play let's go way to draw that penalty get to the boxy goon our power play is going to dismantle your penalty killers right now yeah 
Look, he want, all, he, all he wanted was the puck. He just wanted to shoot and score. And you prevented him from doing that, so you're in the box. And now we're going to win a faceoff here by Barkov. Oh, it's against O'Reilly. I don't know. It's going to be close. Oh, he did. All from the point. Terrible shot selection. Terrible shot selection. Ter that was just, yeah. Tied it up on the power place. That was bad. Like, I know it's easier to coach than it is to play. Like, I 100% understand that. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching the things that are open. And I'm like, oh my goodness, there's so... But, first of all, Barkov's discipline's like 100. I don't know how he's taking penalties here. But, all had a bad shot. And then just nobody fought for the puck. It was bad. You can see the opening plays. And it just, nobody went to it. 4-on-4, four four, though. We're a fast team. We're not that big. We're fast. So, 4-on-4, four four, we should have the advantage on just how much open space there is. There we go. Oh, all should have shot it. They should have another penalty there. Oh, my goodness. They do definitely hooked um, 42. Is that Bolquist? When he was coming through. Oh, they're going to score. Like, oh, Dante Fabro. Like, we are... Oh, what a bad pass by Fabro. Oh, my goodness. We just watched 17 minutes of overtime for Fabro to backhand sauce it into the zone. Where, our, where his defensive partner, who's a forward, admittedly that's probably my mistake on setting the lines up. Oh, hang your head down low, guys. That was Dante Fabro's fault. That was Dante Fabro's fault. Oh, not what you wanted to see. Okay. Well, it happened though. And now we can just learn from it. So, we can learn from it. I guess. I don't know. I'm pretty I'm pretty stunned. Pretty upset. Second time making the playoffs. Second time being out in the second round. Some changes need to happen. You know, last time we made the playoffs, we made some changes. We got Andre Vasilevsky. And it just wasn't enough to get us over the hump. Let's take a quick look at draft, the draft class here. And now we have a better idea where we're going to be drafting. I mean, we need to hope to win a lottery of some sort to move up and get Willie Crane if that's what we want. Or Giuliano Nyquist. Sven Nyquist, I would love. He's a small boy, though. Um, whatever happened to this goalie? How's he look? He's still unknown. Okay. Huh. A couple busts in this draft, which you don't usually see busts, but it's a early first line, or sorry, second round pick there. Okay, we got a couple top six to take. We got Levo, who actually fell off hard in the end. He's a bust, but my scout thinks he's good. That's embarrassing. Okay. This is not great. I mean, let's, I hope. St. Louis wins the cup because you always want to lose to the best. Vegas won the cup. All right, so they dismantled St. Louis. San Jose won the Calder Cup, so not even Laval Rockets. Not, not loving it. We did not move up in the draft. Columbus, where's Columbus? Um, Florida via Columbus. So that that's the fourth into the sixth pick, and we have the tenth. So we actually we're drafting. Four positions worse, plus we give up two third-round picks to, to draft four positions worse. So we're drafting 7th, 10th, and then we're, Vegas won the cup, was it? So 7th, 10th, and 32nd. There's few retired players. I don't think we should have anybody, but you never know. This game's kind of funky. Thornton's gone. Pavelski's gone. Taves is gone. Perry's gone. Carter's gone. All... Top five players were fantastic. Brian Little, you can count as a good player. Steen, Logan Couture, retired way too young and missing way too many games. Giordano finally called it quits. Wow, this is a deep retiree class. Matty Perot, who I thought was, who was surprised was a free agent and as low as he was, but then I realized he's 36 and had a minor, minor league top six. Brandon Sutter never really amounted to anything. Eric Johnson, what a guy. 
I don't know how you can be a first overall pick in 2006, retire 18 years later, and only played 881 games in the NHL, but I guess that's what happened. Thunder Bay, do we have anybody? No. Any goalies? No. Which is good, because if Vasilevsky just retired out of nowhere, I would have cried. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury of the Toronto Marlies, retired. Uh, Pekka Rene, retired. Benny Bishop, uh, Mike Smith, Elliot Schneider, Neuverth, Kadobin, Anders Nielsen. So overall, I mean, this was a very deep retiree class. There could be quite a few Hall of Fame conversations happening, but... All right. This is where we have some coaches and Pavelski, Giordano, and Little. Do we have anybody retire or any coach retirements? Um, doesn't look like it. What's our Burnaby, right? Is our AHL team? No, we don't have any coach retirements, which is good. Um... No, we don't really need to know anything about anybody. All right. Well, I'm going to end the video here. I'm a little sad. Definitely a little sad. Not as good as it should have been. Actually, I feel like we made some mistakes the last two videos. But we are going to do what we can in the drafts. We're probably going to move up if we can. Um, yeah, we move up if we can. And we'll need to make some changes coming in the next season. So the next video, we will get to know who's out there um is there anybody any pending free agents that are just looking good i mean we still have Austin matthews as a pending free agent kyler yamamoto yamamoto i'm surprised he's a 90 overall uh nico heischer so there's definitely some guys out here yamamoto's a playmaker interesting nylander's a playmaker I mean, these guys are gonna want big boy money but um Capocaco is going to be a RFA. Matthews will be in UFA. Yamamoto, Nish, will be UFAs. Nylander, sorry, RFAs. UFA will be Nylander. Rensky is going to, you know, if if he hits free agency, we'll take a shot at him. We'll take a shot at him. We'll, we'll toughen up that back end. We'll get rid of some players. Joel Edmondson's probably a good time to go. All right. Well, Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Really looking to increase my subscribers before the next fantastic franchise mode comes out. Spending a lot of time working on it. Definitely not going as well as it should be. There are a ton of roadblocks, and I'm working with some people to help me get overcome those roadblocks, such as NHL doesn't really support a lot of black names, and a lot of the NBA players we're creating are black, and we just don't have play-by-play -play names, and I'm trying to find the the way around this without causing any controversy or little controversy as possible so that's where we're at uh anyways the next video we'll do the draft we'll do the off season and get ready for the season so thank you so much please subscribe please like take a look at my last video and i'll see you guys in the next one